Hello everybody. I'm going to tell you about me. I am a lion. I am the male lion. You can tell by my long what my long mane. I like to sleep at night. Uh, I like to sleep in the mornings and I'm more active at night. I usually live in the savannas in, or the grasslands in Africa. A group of me, a group of lions is called the pride. I like to eat meat so I will attack a lot of different animals including the animals that are standing behind me now. Well, I'm going to bring them forward one at a time and then they can tell you about themselves. Okay, I'll stand over here on the side and I'll bring the elephant forward. The elephant also lives in the savanna and the grasslands. But I, I have to be careful of lions because lions will attack me. You can tell the elephant because of its big ears, its long trunk, and its long white tusks. Elephants, I live in Africa and Asia. I am very, very big. I can grow up to 8,000 kilograms and as tall as three to four meters. Okay, I'm going to go over to the side. I have to be careful to stand next to my the lion because the lion might eat me and I'm going to bring the giraffe forward. The giraffe here you can tell the giraffe by its orange color here and the spots on the elephant and a or giraffe and the giraffe also has a very long neck. The giraffe lives all over Africa in the savannas. It likes to eat leaves and fruit but it also has to be careful of the lion. That's the king of the jungle because the lions will attack a group of giraffes. A group of giraffes is called a herd. So it's a herd of giraffes. And now I'm going to step aside and bring some bring this bring this guy up front here. This is a tiger. A tiger is also a very dangerous animal. It lives in India and in Southeast Asia. It eats deer and wild boar. You can tell the tiger because of the orange colored fur with the long black stripes. And the stripes are always vertical stripes. They're always going top to bottom. The tiger is also a very dangerous animal and it belongs to the cat family. Now I'm going to step aside here and bring up my friend here, the camel. The camel, camels can have one, like this, one hump, like this camel here, or two humps, okay, depending on where it lives. They live in the Middle East and in Africa. A lot of people in the Middle East and Africa, they drink camel milk. So you can get milk from a camel the same as you can from a cow and it's very, it has a lot of protein in it so it's very healthy and you can also eat the camel. I know it doesn't look like an animal that we want to eat but in the Middle East and Africa some people actually eat the camel and then you use a camel mostly in the desert because a camel can be used to carry cargo and humans so you can ride a camel in the desert for humans or you can put something on its back if you have to go a long ways away with the, the cargo. My, now I'm going to step aside here and introduce my friend the armadillo. The armadillo as you can see is covered with a shell, a hard shell on its body here with a long tail and little short legs. They, they live all throughout North and South America. Now these little short legs here, they're good for digging for food because the armadillo has very poor eyesight so it can't see very well. So maybe the armadillo should wear glasses. When it feels threatened, it rolls itself into a little ball to get away from the danger. 
All right. Now I'm going to introduce my other, my last friend here, the skunk. And by the looks of him, he looks pretty angry, like he's going to spray us. So I'm going to get him up front now. Here. This is the skunk. You can tell the skunk by its black fur and the white stripes going down its back. If you can see that, the white stripes on the skunk. Now a skunk is not an animal that you should play with because they do live in the North and South America but if, you, if the skunk feels threatened, like you're going to hurt the skunk, it will turn around, lift its tail, and it will spray you. And the spray really, really stinks. It smells really bad, and it's hard to get off of your clothes and off of your body. And if you're driving a car and you accidentally hit a skunk, if it sprays the car, that smell also can be very, very hard to get out of the car. But skunks, they like to eat insects, worms, lizards, frogs. They're called scavengers because they'll eat almost anything. And this is why skunks are normally found near garbage. So if you have a lot of garbage outside of your house or near your house, it's best to get rid of the garbage because it will attract skunks and you do not want a skunk hanging around your house. Okay, everybody. Have you learned about all these different animals here? Here's the lion, the king of the jungle. This is the male lion with the long mane here. And lions, a group of lions is called a pride. It consists of a few adult males, some females, and the lion cubs. They like to hunt at night. Here is the elephant. The elephant also lives in the savannas and grasslands throughout Asia and Africa. And it's a very, very large animal. And you can tell because of its big ears, long trunk, and two tusks on the side made of ivory. Then we have the giraffe. The giraffe also lives in the African savannas, but it likes to eat the leaves and fruit. So it eats the leaves and fruits from the trees that other animals can't reach. And a lion will attack a giraffe. So it's best not to stand too close to the lion. The lions, a group of lions, or sorry, a group of giraffes is called a herd. Our next animal, here was the tiger. The tiger is easily noted because of this orange fur with the long black vertical stripes. And the tiger will eat deer and wild boar and they live in India and Southeast Asia. Our next animal was the camel. The camel, the camel is used to carry cargo and humans. It can have one hump or two humps and they live in the Middle East and Africa. A lot of people in the Middle East and Africa drink the camel's milk, and some people even eat the camel, because this, the hump is mostly fatty tissue, but a lot of people actually eat the camel. So you can, and it, as you see, it's a very large animal. So the meat, you'll have meat, camel meat, for a very long time if you, if you slaughter the camel. Here is an armadillo. The armadillo lives in North and South America. They're good at digging for food with their little feet and you can tell an armadillo because it has a hard shell on the top of its body. They have very poor eyesight and if the armadillo feels threatened like someone wants something, some animal wants to attack the armadillo, it will roll up into a little ball. Our next animal was the skunk. The skunk is easily noted because it has black fur with a white stripe going down its back and a long bushy tail. Now you do not, the skunks live in North and South America and they eat mostly insects, worms, lizards, and frogs, but they are scavengers. 
which means they will eat almost anything. They like to look for food near garbage. So if you have garbage near your house or near your business, like a dumpster, it's best to probably keep it empty because if you don't, you may go outside one day and there's a skunk going through your garbage looking for something to eat. When a skunk feels threatened, it will turn around, raise its tail, and that's a sign. If the skunk raises its tail, that's a sign that it's, going, it's probably getting ready to spray you. So you should either run or move out of the way because if the skunk's spray gets on you, it's going to really, really smell bad and you'll have to use special chemicals to get the smell off of your body and out of your clothes. Okay, this is, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals here. And most of these animals are dangerous. The lion is dangerous. The elephant is dangerous. The tiger is dangerous. Camels are not really dangerous, but they can be. A giraffe is not really dangerous. And an armadillo is not dangerous. But a skunk, a skunk is not dangerous unless you, unless you make, unless you scare the skunk. If the skunk feels scared, then it's dangerous because it will spray you. But other than that, it's not really a dangerous animal. Okay, do you remember about all of these animals? All right, let's ask some questions. What is a group of lions called? Did you say a pride? What is a group of giraffes called? Did you say a herd? Where do elephants live? Where do elephants live? They live in the savanna and grasslands throughout Asia and Africa. The tiger. What do tigers eat? Do tigers eat berries and flowers and plants and leaves? Or did you say a tiger eats deer and wild boar? What will a skunk do if it feels threatened? Did you say it will spray you? What are camels used for? Did you say camels are used to carry cargo and humans? You ride a camel in the desert because a camel can walk a long way for a long time without drinking water. Okay, now look at the animals again. Which animal is the king of the jungle? Is it the elephant, the camel, skunk, armadillo, giraffe, tiger, or the lion? Which animal is the king of the jungle? He's in the back. Him. The lion is the king of the jungle. Which animals up here do not eat meat? Did you say the elephant, the giraffe? They do not eat meat. The other animals eat meat. Which animals can we ride? There's two animals that we can ride. Is it the lion? No. We can ride the camel in the desert and we can ride the elephant in the jungle because the elephant has these really wide feet so the elephants are e it's easy for the elephant to walk in the jungle what does the armadillo do when it feels threatened what does the armadillo do 
Did you say the armadillo rolls into a small ball? Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in to Blue Hill English 97. Learn about animals, and I hope you learned something. All right, see you next time.